Part two, piano players versus drummers. Matter of fact, let's just say musicians versus musicians. And I love everybody with the comments, dynamic comments. And Mini Man, I just got through looking at your video. Very powerful. And pretty much a lot of people were saying what I was going to come back and hit on in this video, which was volume. I said it in the first video, but volume, volume control is so important. And I tell any musician, if you can't play in a smaller room, if a drummer can't learn how to play without his shield, if a bass player don't know how to play with the amp down low without kidding everybody, if the lead guitar don't know how to come down, if everybody don't know how to come down, then you got a problem. Because you ain't doing them but killing the singers. Value, man, is so important. Wow. This is what's going on in so many churches why people, and re really what they don't understand is how they killing the singer. And a singer is using their vocal box, their lungs. They ain't coming out no amplifier. You keep cranking up your volume. See, what people don't understand is when it, anybody in the corner crank up their volume, everybody else is going to crank up their volume. Next thing you know, man, it's just a big old conflict. And then here's the other problem. Everybody wants a solo. Yeah. They want a solo do everything. Some musicians just act like they ain't never being heard. They got to keep on soloing through everything and just messing up the whole vibe of the song, destroying the song. Now, Back to what you were saying, Mitty Man, timing and tempo. I'm with you, brother. No, they ain't the same thing. I don't know who told you that and where they got it from, but no. See, a drummer can have great tempo, but his timing can be terrible. Why do I say that? Think about when he do his tricks, when he do his rolls, when he rolls off of the tongs. Now, I know some drummers that can, they can play, but when they, they, they can hold a tempo well. But as soon as they start doing their tricks, they jump time. Mm. Yeah. Just like a time and chain can jump on your car and jump out of place, that's how these drummers do a lot of them. And they don't even hear it half of the time. You can have perfect tempo with terrible timing. Oh, yeah. Same way on the piano, people can do that. But I know nobody won't agree with that, but you're right, man. I'm telling you, man, coming from, a, coming from an ex drummer, man, I. You got to have tempo, timing, and volume control, man. It is not the same thing. And then some of them got good timing and terrible tempo. They good with their rolls and their tricks. They, they can get on back on beat, right? But they tempo, they speeding up when they play. How many of y'all know a drummer can start off good, but before the middle of the song is over with, he done already done speeded the whole song up. I tell them in a minute, get you a metronome, metrodome, whatever that thing called. No, it's not the same thing. The whole point of having a band is everybody working together doing their part. But it don't never work like that half of the time. Because you got more and more people want to be popular. Once again, tempo and timing ain't the same thing, man. I know drummers that'll roll, they, they'll roll off Time, they'll, they'll be on tempo and roll off time so quick with trying to double up and do what everybody else is doing. The main thing is you need to learn the basics before you learn how to try to start doing tricks. I keep telling people when I teach them on the piano, stop worrying about runs. That come, that come later on. There's too many musicians want to learn how to run on the, on the piano before they learn how to do cards. Man, everybody want to learn backwards, seem like nowadays, man. And they don't want to put the time in for it. No, man, timing and tempo, it's not the same thing, man. I bet you any real drummer, they'll tell you that. Because when the timing is off, I'm going to tell you a good example, especially with a bass player. Like I said in the other video, the bass player and the drummer is the foundation. Now, if the drummer jumps timing, he's going to throw the bass player out. It's going to stick out like a so thumb. And then everybody looking around trying to figure out who messed up. Oh, man. It's hard to keep a band, bro. I'm with you, man. man. I, and, and for a long time, man, I had to run bass lines by myself. Even to this day, when I get on the organ, I have to cut the bass pedals off because I keep forgetting I got my little bro on the bass. Or sometime in the middle of the song, he'll come over there and push the drawboards down for me. 
Because when he's gone from church, I got to run the baseline. Most time I'm running the baseline on the motif if he's gone. But if I'm on the organ, I try to run the bass, play, uh, the bass pedals. Try to run the bass with my foot on the bass pedal. Excuse me. And that's what a lot of times it, it messes you up because you always got to. But see, this is the part of studying and staying on your game. See, me, I always have to switch the way I play because I don't always have a bass player. I play a lot of places by myself. I hate playing and singing. Sometimes I jump off timing because I be singing a lot and playing a lot. I don't always play right. And you know what I do? Keep on going. Because some songs I can sing and play easy. And some, I need to just leave them alone. See, I check myself, man. I don't worry about nobody checking me. I check myself because I'm my own biggest critic. If every musician could be like that, and stop thinking they cocky and they so great. Because like you said, man, you can <laughs> anybody can, can carry the title, but can you do the job, Billy, man? I like that. Can you do the job? The whole thing about bad, you know what I hate to see, man? I hate to see musicians coming in these musicals with all this. You got a church that probably hold maybe a hundred, if it's that many. And everybody want to come in with these big old tower speakers and, and all kind of equipment and you, the church can't even hold it. You cut the value, value barely up. You done knock the whole pulpit over. It's so loud in there. You don't need no drum shield in no little bitty corner of a church that seats maybe 75 to 100. You don't need no shield in there. You need to learn how to be disciplined. You don't need no 1200 watt bass amp and you in a little bit of corner scene. You know what the other biggest conflict is, many man? The problem is when you in a smaller building, you got the bass amp in this ear. You got the organ, Leslie, in this ear. You got the drum set behind your head. You got the lead guitar amp in your other ear. And everybody bringing up their value. I mean, next time you know your head hurting because everybody complaining that they can't hear themselves. Or the bass player and the drum hall has got a conflict. And then the bass player, well, man, I can't hear your foot pedal. I need to be able to feel the foot pedal. And they can't feel the foot pedal because they steady bringing their volume up on the bass. And I can't stand to see a drummer that rips through the whole song, like Hot Clip was just saying. That's done destroyed the whole song. Because you want everybody to see how many tricks you got. Man, it ain't, it ain't about how many tricks you got. Let me tell everybody something right quick. Listen to a nobody like me. There is a time for you to bring your volume up. And there is a time to bring the volume down. There is a time for you to show out and do your tricks. And then there is a time to stay in the pocket. Which don't nobody like to hear nowadays. Stay in the pocket. Because people think when they stand in the pocket, they ain't doing nothing. Sometimes the people that stay in the pocket is the best drummers to me, man. Learn how to rim shot. It ain't about you banging that snare all the time, breaking the bottom snare head. Man, people still be wanting me to get back on the drums to this day. I don't, I don't even play drums no more, man. I guarantee you, <laughs> I can get back on the drums and, and I ain't bragging or nothing, but I guarantee you I can show, I can show folks how to play humble. I bet you I could, man. man. I like to get on them every now and again, man. I bet you I can play humble and discipline. See, humble, discipline, respect. Stop thinking you all this. That's the kind of musicians I like to be around. They humble. They respectful. You you got a question or you need you need to say something? Which what, what what can we do to make it brother? What can we do to make it better? You know what? If I was with you, me the man, maybe I'm maybe it's me messing up. What cards do you want me to play right here? Am I too busy? Am I playing too loud on the drum? No, I'm already know that myself. Because if you can't hear the if you can't hear the next person in front of you, you playing too loud. Mm. You playing too loud. I mean, somebody will catch that later on. I try to keep it real with folks, man. I, see, I'm always the MD, man. I get hit hard. I done got cussed out all my life, man, on, on, on uh, having a band. Folks mad at me to this day because I don't tolerate that ignorance, man. I will get out of the band or I will sit you down. I'll sit myself down. Easy. That's, that's it. Because the, the, the whole thing about bro... You ain't going to be able to get the job done. And here, here's the secret, man. man. You, you already know this, but you can't play with everybody. That's the problem nowadays. You cannot play with everybody. And people find this out the hard way. 
And somebody always, like I said in my old video, somebody always want to show up late. And the one that show up late always thinking that the show going to revolve around them. And they think the show ain't going to go on if they ain't there. They think the show going to go on if they ain't there. I mean, they think the show won't go on unless they there. Let me say that right. Excuse me. I'll tell them in a minute. If you think that's true, go ahead and don't show up. See, if you ain't humble, I don't want to play with you. And I, trust me, I'm not saying I'm all of this. I'm not. I'm a nobody. I keep telling folks, I'm a nobody. Listen to a nobody like me, and then you go back and take this advice and see if it worked for you. But I know what worked for me. I can't play with everybody. I can't play with a loud drummer. I can't play with a loud bass player. Let me jump on these bass players for a minute because here's the big problem cause a lot of conflict. I'm just, yeah, I needed to do this other video right here. You ain't got to be carding your bass all the way through the song. <laughs> Why are you over there carding on your bass? And then you got a lead guitar player carding. Then you got a piano player carding. Who running the bass line? Next thing you know, the keyboard player don't start running the bass line. Now you done decided to start back running the bass line on the bass. Now you got the keyboard player and the bass player running the, running the bass line. This is why people, oh, many man, I like what you just said. Learn how to stay in your lane. Learn how to stay in your lane. If you're going to run the baseline, run the baseline. You're going to get your time to show off. If you're going to be a piano player and play the card structure, play the cards, stay in the cards. Especially if you got another keyboard player. Why everybody want to keep battling each other on the keyboard? Oh, man. I know I'm going to make some musicians mad with this video. Oh, this loud. Oh, man, I can't stand this loud mess. Your church don't even seat 150 good and you want to beat like you in a, a sportatorium or something. Everybody want to look at Calvin Rogers and, and, and Aaron Spears. Yeah, we know Aaron Spears beat hard. He beat the hell out of them drums. But look at what kind of stage Aaron Spears on. And then look what he do. You in the church house. You ain't in no big old stadium or nothing. <laughs> Man, learn how to play low. Because I got a news flash. When you go in these other little places, like I do. See, I go in places like hotels. Where that, you know what I'm talking about, Minnie Man. When that sound bounces off that wall, you better calm down with all that, that loudness. You can't play like that in no gym. You can't play like that in some of these places, man, because it's terrible. The whole thing, like you say, bro, learn how to be disciplined. Whatever instrument you play, learn. How to be disciplined. I'm so sick of organ players getting into it with keyboard players. Tell them they ain't nothing because they ain't learned how to play the organ. Man, I tell you, man. All of these, all of these comments that y'all sent was all the way true. They all the way true. The volume got to be low. There's a time. It's like Ecclesiastes say it's a time of the season. <laughs> I say that like that on the instrument. It's a time to come up. It's a time to come down. Learn how to be disciplined. You should know how to play at the most quietest time. You should know. No, nobody shouldn't even tell you how to tell you when to bring your instrument down. Because first of all, if you got singles, respect the singles. But it ain't no respect in these bands no more. This is why bands don't stay together. You ever notice you see somebody play, the next time you see them play, they got a whole different band. They got a whole different band. Oh, but when I look at the elements like Earth, Wind, and Fire, got band. I look at how so, so many people stayed together for so long. But we don't see that nowadays. You look at Ronald Osmond, look how long Ernie stuck with Ronald. Mm. We know Ronald got in trouble. Look at the John, the Brothers Johnsons, how long they had stuck together. Look at the Cattle Spirituals, how long they had stuck together. Look at Earth, Wind, and Fire. Look at Maurice White and Philip Bailey, how long they stuck together, still together. Maurice stay sick. People stay together, we just don't hear about it. Man, I love how Charlie Wilson and his brother Robin on the base always stay together. But that comes with, that comes with humbleness and discipline. Mm. And I'm going to get on out of here because my time running short. And God bless y'all.